<laughs> Hi guys, we Hi. are we are back. <laughs> <laughs> So we got this MCM dresser for 40 bucks yesterday and it already has been painted over and the paint job is pretty bad and yeah I'm not looking forward to something. <laughs> the drawers are sliding pretty hard, I don't know how we'll take care of that. The insides have been painted over too, which is a bummer. And so the guy that sold it to us, he has one exactly the same. He says that this, these legs are not original, that he, the ones he has are like pretty short and that someone who had this one changed the legs for the tall ones. Apparently the legs made the dresser a little unstable so we might be making them a little bit shorter. This drawer works, oh actually it doesn't, it works fine now but <laughs> yesterday when we were trying to open this drawer you can tell that someone has been trying to fix this. And also what's cool about this dresser is, let me show you, let's take these out. You can change the color of this panel. <laughs> it's pink and blue. And apparently, the, originally there was one more panel, red and yellow, but he didn't have it. So that's all that we get. We don't know what we're gonna do with the dresser yet because of how bad the paint job is, and I don't want to strip strip the paint because this is my worst nightmare. I hate stripping paint. It always takes so much time. It's so messy and you end up sanding everything for hours anyway, so. Also the drawers are very uneven, they stick together and they don't close all the way. So we'll have to try figure this out and if we paint it over, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet, as I, as I said, but if we paint it, then we'll have to, you know, consider the fact that there's gonna be a few more layers of paint and that might make it work even worse. So yeah, we'll see. First time I see this brand, obviously it's been painted over. We'll have to sand the insides of the drawers to make them look better. And yeah, I'm probably gonna start off with cleaning and then we'll see. So we took the legs off and it looks like there was a fifth one in the middle, which is gone. And this part, I am not sure how to fix it yet. Somebody tried to glue it, that might actually work. But basically the leg base is pushing in onto it. So I might try and drill a hole here and put a screw or something through, we'll see. This, uh, the wood seems to be uh, greenish and really dark and the paint is, just doesn't want to come off. Turns out that the, whoever painted it didn't even sand the whole thing a little bit or at least the legs because the paint is peeling off and underneath the legs are in great condition. If I remove the whole paint, then I won't stain them. I'll just use a restaurant finish or something. Okay, so we are pretty much done sanding and peeling the legs. It did come, it did take a while, but it wasn't so bad. And there is some paint left and like in some um, scratches and crevices, but I will use uh, lacquer thinner to get rid of that and then we'll cut like a third one third of the legs so and we we won't have the like metal accent thingy anymore which I, I guess is fine not a big issue 
and yeah um, we won't be staining anything except this this we won't be I'll just use restore finish on it so yeah unfortunately no staining on this dresser but it's okay So everything's sanded, um, we're just going to paint those strips, uh, black on one side, gold on the other, so we kind of keep this customization option. And our guy's going to clean those up and put restore finish on them. Back at our storage, and by the way, we sold quite a few things. Uh, I'm not sure if we showed it in the last video, but the storage was pretty full, so we do have room again. Some pieces are gonna be staying here for a long time, but that's the way it is. This one we haven't done on the video because it's kind of meh, it was handmade completely, kind of weird. We don't do videos out of every single project we do, so if you like to see more, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna leave the details on the screen and a sneak peek. This is going to be one of the next projects. And then those are already loaded up. Two nice tents. They do have some issues, but we are up for a challenge. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Aga is just taking pictures. The dresser is ready. It's going straight on Marketplace. We're going to post it at between three and $400. It came out really nice. Uh, it's really unique with the exchangeable strips. We never seen anything like this before. We seriously, seriously need to stop buying painted furniture because it didn't like this one came out pretty good, but it still is not perfect. We should prop, we should strip it, but we hate stripping, so we always find a way around that. Yeah, yeah sanding sucks too. So <laughs> yeah, we tried sanding the drawers, hoping we'll do some stain, but the paint did not want to come off. So we did, we ended up sanding only the edges. So. So that there's some space freed up for our layers of paint and yeah it's working pretty well we also, we also waxed the edges so it's even better and the issue with sticking drawers and not closing properly was just a few push pins that someone yeah somebody somebody lifted the drawer uh, just slightly too much yeah and it didn't close fully so we just removed them and it works fine we cut the legs a little bit and the dresser seems to be much more stable as well so Job well done to us. <laughs> well done us. <laughs> it's really hot today by the way. It's not a single cloud in sight.
actually a light. There's a cloud cool. and there's a cloud. It's small. Small. So we paid 40 bucks for the dresser, materials were around 20. So we are at 60 bucks altogether and it took us uh, six hours to finish the whole project. Let us know in the comments if you like how it turned out. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we're going to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, thank you.